In this video, we will be discussing about the genome sequencing. So in genome sequencing, we will be covering the different projects. Before that, if you haven't already watched the previous two videos that I've made on the COVID-19 vaccines and specific news along with the GM crops, go back to those videos or, you know, you can watch it after this one. The link will be in the description down below. So now let us go on to the latest news in genomic sequencing. Now let us see what is the news. So firstly, the Pan-India 1000 genome sequencing of the SARS-CoV-2 is successfully completed. This project was initiated in May 2020 by the Department of Biotechnology. The data that is received from this genome sequencing will be published in the Global Initiative on Sharing All Influenza, All Influenza Data on this particular platform. Okay, so across the globe, everybody will be able to access this. The next is the Indigen project. Now, what is the Indigen project? Basically, it is a project that is funded by the CSIR and runs under the Ministry of Science and Technology. It is aimed towards carrying out the whole genome sequencing of 1000 Indian individuals that, that represent different ethnic groups. Now, the aim of the study was to create a data set that will allow genetic epidemiology of carrier genetic diseases, which would in turn help in creating affordable carrier screening approaches in India. This particular project is basically completed and the results are published in the CSIR resource. Now, the peculiar result of this project is that we found out that there is 32% of genetic variations in the Indian genome as compared to the global. So 32% of genetic variations are unique to Indians if you compare it towards the whole world. Next is a human genome project. Many people must be aware about it. Therefore, I have not put much information. It was started in 1990 and completed in 2003. Its idea was to build a complete genome sequence of the humans and it was coordinated by the National Institute of Health US and the Department of Energy USA. Now, similar lines where we have the Genome India project. Now, this is India's gene mapping project, which was said to be just the scratching of the surface of the vast genetic diversity that India has. Okay, now this again aims to collect 1000 samples in the first phase and it is started in Jan 2020 by the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology. And it involves 20 leading institutes that include IIC Bangalore and a few of the IIT. So that's about the news on genome sequencing. If you want any other miscellaneous news, check out the next video. In that, we will be talking about some biopesticides and about some miscellaneous news about the BXG. So, I'll see you in the next one.